Hello guys, this is Charlie from Top Table TCG here, and today we're going to be doing a deck profile on my Arch Ada Melikit deck. So this deck recently got a promo card that uh, really, really helps with the deck's consistency, um, and I'm going to sort of show you, you how it works in the list. So of course we'll start off with our four copies of Melik. This is your main first ride, it's always going to be your main unit with you superior riding the other Malak over the top. Um, so it's on place skill is Catablast 2. Um, you can deal your opponent a damage if it's grade 2 or if your opponent's Vanguard's grade 2 or less, or you can heal one if their Vanguard's grade 3. So early game, you're going to apply pressure, later game, you're going to heal off your damage. Really good heal skills in general, very strong in this game. Uh, let you survive for a longer amount of time. And then the bottom skill is Solbas 1, and she's up to 3 cards and drop. Call them. And then take the top card of deck as damage, so deal one damage to yourself. Really important because going into our next G3, which is our four copies of our Shin Melek, this is your superior ride target. So the way it works is when revealed as a damage check from the top of the deck, so this is your main damage checker, um, you're going to be able to superior ride this onto your vanguard uh, by discarding one card. So getting another marker as well, really helpful. If you've got two or more protect markers in one place, you're going to get 10k to the front row. And all of your units with protect markers effectively game resist, so really strong. Uh, lets you build a resist-based board, because you could just like put your protect markers on all of your rearguard circles. Um, which, as you can guess, it means this deck is very much a protect two kind of deck. Next, we're running four Holy Lord Angel. Checked up seven cards of the deck. Choose up to one Melek from among them at its hand, and then you can choose up to one Melek from hand and put it on top of deck. So you can stack your Shin if you need it, or early game, you can just search for this Melek as your normal ride. But generally, really good card. Uh, and then four copies of the staple for Angel Feather, which is your Jeff Kiel. So Jeff Kiel's effect is um, one place, CB1, it's going to gain power, choose card from damage at its hand, and then deal a damage. Like, just resets this one extra damage check. Um, worst case, it allows you to superior ride this if, say, there isn't really many good targets for this and drop. Um, yeah, overall, really good card. Gets a lot of power, lets you get your pieces back from damage. And uh, generally, it's just, yeah, really strong. Uh, two of your Amputation Angel. This is kind of the card you want on your rearguard circle uh, with a protect a lot of the time. It's going to be a really big beater, and it's also going to gain um, Sentinel Restrict when you have... Um, your three or more protect markers, so really good. Uh, so just really good pressure. It's going to become really big with your shin, plus the uh, marker, plus its own power gain. And then two copies of your Zayn. So I see a lot of people run one Zayn. I like two Zayn, because uh, early game it's a really big hitter. And then it also has the same skill as Freezing Grunter, where it's going to be able to uh, force your opponent to damage your rear and then heal a thing, and it dies at the end of turn. So it means you can just get rid of their um, their problem rear guards, which there are a lot of in the current V meta. But yeah, that is all my grade twos for the deck. Following up, we'll go for our G1s. So the new promo card, which is our serrated sore angel. So the way she works is if your vanguard is Melek, Catblast 1, bind her, and then you can choose you can either choose this from Soul if you haven't ridden this turn and superior ride. Or you can choose this from Soul and put it um back on top of the deck so it basically just like resets anything you need so a lot of the time in the deck your main <laughs> issue comes from not having the needed one of these so what this card basically means is that if you have this and you superior ride this if next turn you don't have another one of these you just don't ride and superior ride it off of this um my main issue with it is the catamass one can be a bit hefty depending on the point in the game but a lot of the time this is going to fix your main ride problems and not basically fix the deck strategy then another very good card, which is your Persistence Angel. Um, so this is Sobos 1, draw a card, uh, choose a card from your drop and put it on top of deck with Malak in its name. So again, stacking this, it's kind of the whole point of the deck, stacking, superior riding. Uh, and then last we've got our, oh sorry, my bad, 3 dick here. Uh, top 5, add a G3, ditch a card, and then uh, if you've taken, if you've done damage interactions this turn, it's going to gain 5 on your field, so... And then running two angel because it gains intercept to the back row. And normally you're going to want to put your protect twos across the field instead of stacking them on the front. So if you have a protect two back here, she's basically a 20k intercept from the back row. Uh, works a bit like an evil decoy token in a way. 
And then lastly, we'll go onto our trigger cards. We are running our eight criticals. Crit power is really important in the deck. Um, it's quite an aggressive deck. We don't really want to be stalling with a lot of draws, I find. Uh, and then four draw PGs and our four heal guards. I think heal guards are definitely necessary in this deck. Um, just because early game rush is your main issue. You've got to get to G3 and you've got to set up properly if you want to win that game. So it's really important to have a good defensive early game option. Because as you say, as I say, with the protect marker uh, interactions, by the time you hit late game, you've already got enough power to guard. And the 20k shield isn't really that much of a positive in the deck. And then lastly, we've obviously got our Resh starter. This could be any starter, but Resh is the one that makes uh, sense contextually to the deck. As stated several times in this video, we're going to go for our Protect 2s here. There isn't many situations in which Protect 1 is more beneficial because your whole deck relies on Protect 2 markers being out. But uh, sometimes Protect 1 can be helpful if you're against certain things that just make numbers that can't be guarded. But then again, at the same time, you're kind of taking away from your main deck's premise. So um, most of the time you go into this, there may be, as I say, some, some circumstances where Protect 1's a little bit better. But uh, sticking to this 90% of the time is probably your best bet. But yes, that has been my Melek deck profile. Um, so with how Melek is, I'd say it's a lot better with the new promo. The promo fixes a lot of your prior problems. It means you can cut down on the other cares. You're not that worried about searching for your G3s because you have a way to recur them. And generally, it just makes the deck a lot more consistent. And consistency was the deck's main problem. But overall, that has been my Melek deck profile. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. And this is Charlie from Top Table TCG signing out.